I'm Grace. So let's get started. I'm a recipe blogger, family taught home chef. Cheers. Cheers. iPhone only photographer and proud New Englander. If you're a sucker for crispy coconut shrimp, but don't want to fry them, try this baked version. Of course, we all know and love coconut shrimp that you get in a restaurant that's super, super crispy. And of course, they fry it. But if you want to make coconut shrimp at home and you don't want to fry them, you can bake them and they're still going to come out super crispy and so, so delish. And it starts off with, of course, the coconut. Put your coconut right on a baking sheet that's lined with some parchment paper or you can do some foil. And you're gonna mix it with some panko breadcrumbs. And the two together are going to make this crispy, crunchy coconut coating that's nice and toasted. But we do want to par toast our coconut and our breadcrumbs because they're not gonna have the chance to toast up enough in the oven when they're coating the shrimp. So we're gonna spread this all out on our baking sheet and we're gonna pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for just a couple minutes until it's nice and golden brown. I'll show you what I mean. I tossed it and now just a couple more minutes. And this is what you want. Nice and golden brown. I know it looks like it's kind of uneven, but what solves that is you just give it a good, nice toss again. And you have some nice, evenly toasted coconut and panko. And now a little salt and pepper will do you good. And that's it. <laughs> the only way to ensure correct salt and pepperage. We have some shrimpos here. They're frozen shrimp. I get them peeled and deveined, which is really important because you don't wanna have to do that by yourself. And they're also raw. So what you wanna do to thaw them is you just want to run them under cold water until they're completely thawed. That's it. Took about 10 minutes to thaw them, and now I'm just gonna pat them dry. Hello. We're back with the assembly line. We have our shrimp that is thawed, flour, beaten egg, and our beautiful crunchy mixture of coconut delights. So you're gonna take your first shrimp and you're going to dredge it in flour. So you're just gonna coat it in the flour, give it a good shake so there's no excess flour on there. And then you're going to dunk it in the egg. And because these don't have any tails, we dunk the whole thing. If they had tails, you just don't dunk the tail part. And then you coat it in the beautiful mixture, give it a nice pat on there so it stays. And perfection, lay it on your baking sheet and keep on going. Tastefully tip keep one or two shrimp unbreaded, so that way when it's baking in the oven, you know when it's done. They'll turn bright pink and the tails will curl and you'll know they're ready. 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. I couldn't wait. Mmm. A little Thai chili on the side. They're crisp, they're light. Coconut comes through. Mm. The juicy, perfectly cooked shrimp. Check this out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. Ooh. 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 Ooh.